Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, and this is episode, we're welcoming you to episode 13! Did I say we're welcoming you to episode 13? I meant I am. Oh well. Of the, let's play The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. And last time I cliff hung you on what these notes might say, so let's read them now. And, oh, Link just nods, he's like, I understand. Yo entiendo. May the soaring wings take flight. And this is probably the most useful song ever in it almost in like I in both Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time probably this is essentially equivalent to every single warp song that you ever learned in Ocarina of Time what you do with it you can like use it and you will it'll automatically warp you to any of the Deku no not Deku um owl statues the stone bird statues in an instant yes to any of the stone bird statues that you have hit with your sword. So that's very useful. So now we can fly back to the southern swamp if we want. We can pretty much go anywhere. Well, not anywhere, obviously. Because if we could go anywhere, I'd just fly to the moon, beat the game. Uh oh, that's spoilers. Except not really. But that is. Oh well. And oh my god. That was a strange sight to behold. Ew, it's so purple, and the purple light is shining on the moon. On the dark side of the moon. All right. Uh, so there's really nothing of interest over here. Oh wait, is that a chest? I've never opened this chest before. What could be inside? It's a twenty rupee. Not a twenty rupee. A red rupee, dumbass. Anyways, so that's my new thing I learned today. That there's a twenty rupee chest right there, or a red rupee chest. That was fun. All right. God, it's so purple. Why is it so purple? Jeez, like, water shouldn't make that big of an impact on the lighting of an area. I guess it's just the atmosphere in general. It's purple. It's probably that purple text from the Jorah's Mask title, isn't it? It's like the moonlight is just shining through it and making purple tint everywhere. Alright, so this guy right here, he is a hip loop. Hip loops are hot. Are hot help. So they'll charge at you if you're looking at them in the eye. If it comes out, you assume defensive position. Okay. Haha. -ha. You noob. And hit it with a bubble. And hit it with another bubble. That is how you take care of hoop of hip loops, actually. So yeah. And there's a lot of them in this little area here, so be sure to remember that strategy for when you play this game. Ooh, there's a pot puddle of snot on a stupid bridge now. But it faded to black. So that's nice. Alright, um, did I ever scan those guys? Wait, this is not Metro Prime, you don't scan things, what am I talk- what am I talking about, man? I meant to examine it with paddle, but I don't think we really need to. But just for the fun of it. That's when Mad Digger's got, even though it's weak, it sure likes to attack. It most certainly does. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try in this run of Majora's Max to show, like, all the different descriptions of the enemies. Cause that'd be kinda cool, I don't know. Probably already missed some enemies somewhere, but this is fun. Alright. And over here, there is this pedestal that we first were greeted with. Isn't that the Deku Scrub Mark? I wonder what if they were shipped here. If they were shipped here? If they were shipped here? Through, like, sh cargo ships and stuff? Hmm. Anyways, oh, look at that. Stone bird statue. Remember to always strike one of these with, with your sword whenever you see it. Because if you don't, you're probably going to forget. And then you won't be able to warp here. Oh, random fairy comes out of nowhere and heals me. That's lovely. Alright. So, um, there's a chest over there, and I know that it's going to bug me because, like, I'm OCD. But, uh, that it contains five rupees over there, and it's going to, like I said, it's going to bug me to see that on the map just lingering down there. But, it's not worth it to fly over there, especially since there's, since there's no way back other than warping to this stone bird. So, we're just not going to bother with that. We'll fly over here and take on the Deku Scrub that almost knocked me out of the air into the water. And that would have been really annoying. Okay. Alright guys, looks like it's about time to take on the Ice Cavern now. Uh, Nintendo Capri Summer already made that joke. I shouldn't. It's just get, it'll just get lame if I do that. Fairies Fountain. The Fairies Fountain. What is this? What is this madness? Kind young one. Oh, wait. Kind young one. Here. 
Please hear my plea. Please find the fairies trapped in Woodfall Temple who match our color. Please bring them back to us. And they freeze me and automatically heal me. Cool. Alright, so this is what that other great fairy back in Clock Town was talking about. She just said that, like, in every temple there is some stray fairies and, like, a great fairy nearby that you can bring the stray fairies back to. And there's 15 stray fairies in every temple. And if you bring them all back to the great fairy to whom they belong, to whom the color corresponds, then you get a special little reward. And those rewards are very useful, trust me. Alright. And come on down. You're the next contestant. You're the next. You're the next contestant on get hit in the face with a Deku snot bubble. And that will be a terrible name for a TV show. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and head in here. Oh my God! You almost hit me with your stupid Deku nuts. You know what? I'm just gonna completely pwn you. Look, we boing. Ha ha. You can kill them with that, that's awesome. And over here, there's a neat little gold trim chest. I like it. I like the design. And, oh my god, what can it possibly contain? I love this, watch this. Link hops into the chest, and then hops back out, and he's holding up a piece of heart. That, that makes two, and collect two more, and we get another heart container. Booyah! To the maximum. Alright, um, I don't want to fly all the way back there, so we're just going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and warp back to that stone bird that we can probably see from here. Yeah, I know, I'm lazy. I'm lazy, call me crazy. Okay, no, not to the southern swamp, to Woodfall. That's where we really want to go. That's where the action is, man. Okay. I might have to cut this episode short, because I don't think I want to do this temple in the recording session. I don't want to press my luck with the dropped frames here, because it says zero still right now. And I'm inclined to believe it after the last recording session where it said zero frames were up and really zero frames were dropped. But I don't know. Alright. So this is the Deku scrub symbol, just like Tattle told us. And, um, just like the monkey told us, we needed the Sonata of an Awakening to reveal the temple. And we're better to play the Sonata of Awakening than on the symbol itself. So how does that song go again? Grow out the last note. Of course. <laughs> and what will that do for us? Let's see. And you do have to play this with the Deku Pipes, otherwise it won't travel far enough. The sound won't resonate far enough. Whoa. Even though physically that would be impossible for the water to bulge up like that, that is still epic looking. And it like makes a massive waterfall around there for a brief period of time. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and just fly over there, and I'm going to taunt you by showing you the first room of the temple, but I'm not actually going to do the temple until the next recording session, which will be episode 13, maybe, I do. No, wait, I think it'll be episode 14, who knows. I'll know by the time I start recording it. So anyways, this is, oh my god, Woodfall Temple. That is frightening. Look at all these trees everywhere, man. And there's a stray fairy right in our face already. Yep. So this is actually a pretty easy temple. It's not as easy as the like the inside of the Great Deku Tree. But it's probably as easy as maybe Jabu Jabu's belly, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Maybe the Dongus Cavern, because Dongus Cavern is probably the hardest in Ocarina of Time. But yeah. So, in the next episode of Majora's Mask, we are going to go ahead and start on the Woodfall Temple. Um, yeah, sorry to cut this episode so short, I know, but maybe you don't, maybe you sometimes like short episodes so that you don't have to watch 30 minutes of my footage if you watch both, uh, Mario RPG and, the both, of watch both Mario RPG and, shit, shit, what am I trying to say? Majora's Mask is the game I'm playing. Wow. If you watch both of those that I post every day, maybe you just like a little shorter episode this time. Might give you a little nostalgia factor from the stupid old 10 minute, oh my god, old 10 minute days. Ah, oh, that laugh still gives me chills after that fan fiction.
Alright, I, I highly suggest you read that. Oh god, no. Oh my god. How did that happen? Well, I'm just going to leave you with this lovely screen here. Oh, frightening. And I think, I think I'm going to go have my Wii exercised. Alright, so this is Argon. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix. Oh, wait, until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>